I've been playing for England and Great Britain since 2003, I think. Um, so nine years now. So yeah. Becoming the veteran of the team. And is the Olympics going to be the epitome of your of your career? Uh, I hope so. I think it only will be if if we do well in it. Um, say people are talking about how great the Olympics is going to be in London but it's only good I think if if you do well if you don't do well it's it's going to be a horrible feeling um, Barry you're the world record holder yeah. of the crazy catch one minute challenge at 71 catches and uh, you've been practicing today how have you been doing I've, uh, yeah so I've got 71 a while back but I've been struggling today the legs are a bit tired um, it's hard to hold a crouch for a minute I think um, I think I got 65 or something earlier so we're still trying to beat it but I don't think we're going to get there today. Okay well we've got plenty of time for the one minute challenge to come in. As a, as a training tool because you've been using the crazy catch for a while as a training tool haven't you? Yeah, yeah as, as a training tool we've, we find it as a very useful tool to have um, so it doesn't correlate completely to hockey but just have something easy if you're on your own or in ones and twos then it can test your reactions out brilliantly and you can use all different kind of things so you can do it just with the crazy catch ball or even a bit of stick and ball with hockey um, and it's just a bit of unanticipated work that makes it kind of enjoyable as well for you um, in training when it can be quite boring at times. Excellent. Um, you mentioned reactions, how would it help improve your reactions? Um, it would help improve our reactions just because you don't know where the ball is going to go so depending how close you get to it um, you can have very little time to react to the ball um, usually with hockey the only things you have are a backboard or a post or a wall and it, it bounces straight back from where you play it so this is great because it's more game like um, and say it comes to your forehand or your reverse stick and it's just good for you getting touches on the ball. Fantastic. And as a GB hockey player, you use it. Could you use it being seen at all different levels of hockey? I think definitely you could use it at all levels of hockey. Um, maybe even more for lower levels because, again, there's not as many facilities for the people to train long hours and with as many people. So I think we're lucky that we have so many training slots. But if someone wants to get one at home, um, we can just work on their touch for however long they want at home, then it's definitely a good thing to have. So a young potential TV hockey player practicing at home is actually going to have fun and, and benefit his game? I think so. I think they'll definitely have fun and help benefit their game. So it's not going to be the only thing that will help your game, but if it's one little thing that can help you progress, then it's a good thing to have, as long as you don't break everything in the house if you're <laughs> using it there, I guess. There you go, Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks a lot.